Hey guys, and welcome to the fifth part of the seventh episode of the Ploxa Games Unity 3D How to Make a Unity FPS Zombie FPS Game Series. Now, in this episode, we're just going to fix up a few things and add on to the inventory script and just play around with a few more things. Um, first thing is I apologize about not being able to help with some of the scripts. Um, I have s trouble with them sometimes, um, so that's just that. Um, <laughs> but um, also apologize about timing again. We're just I'm just about to go into exam period again, and it's pretty hectic at the moment. So just trying to get as much out to you as I can, and trying to help you guys as much as I can. But it, sometimes I will be delayed a few days. Um, so first of all, last episode I did not show you guys how to um, do one thing that you need to do. So first of all, can you uh, go to Edit, Project Settings, Script ex Execution Order, and what you need to do is click this plus button and then add both the item database and the inventory, but the item database needs to go first. So basically what this does is it calls item database first, so it in it basically adds those items to the um, database before the inventory is um, the inventory script is called. So um, sometimes you get areas where there was no um, uh, items in the database of that type, and you wouldn't get it in your inventory and so forth. But that should fix that. Um, so that's just that one quick thing. And now this is. Uh, just go to the inventory script and we're going to add to this. So basically I'm going off the top of my head for this so I'll probably get a little, quite a bit wrong but that's alright. Just follow along and skip my skip some if you need to. Um, so we have an add item and an, a check to see if the inv inventory contains so that can be like a uh, quest item thing or anything else like that or like a key for a door and so now we're just going to create a new one and we're going to go return nothing, so void, and call that remove item. And we're going to pass that an integer called id, just like the one above. And we're going to close that one off. And I'm just going to copy all of this stuff from item, add item. I'm going to paste it in there. And we're going to just quickly go through this. I think we can keep most of this. We're going to say, okay, if remove item First of all, we're going to call inventory contains, and we're going to go id. Actually, we'll um go if if inventory contains id equals true equals equals true, then we're going to do this stuff. So if if the invent if we if we pass it a uh, ID that we don't have, then we're not going to remove the item. If we do have the item, then it's going to continue. So we're going to go count through the inventory, and we're going to say if inventory dot item name equals equals null. I think we're going to make it if inventory is not equal to null so change it to an exclamation mark equals if it's not equals to not equal to nothing so if it's got something in it then we're going to go calculate uh, check the database to see if it, if the check go through the database and then if the database item equals the ID that we're checking then item inventory ID actually no I don't think we even need database in there So we're just going to go through that one. If inventory actually, we're not even going to need half of this because Um, because we've already got this check to see if we've got it, so we're checking to see if we've got it, then we're going to run through the inventory, and we're going to find it and go if inventory.name equal inventory.item name dot item id would make this to item id 
equals equals the ID then we're going to go inventory ID equals inventory I equals slots I I think I think that will make it equal to nothing I think so let's just check if we've got any errors and we don't so what we're going to do to test this is we're going to when we going to put a debug dot log here dot log and go item removed and then we're just going to add the item zero and then remove item remove item zero actually we'll remove item one first to test the thing to test to see if it works with having no items if it doesn't give us any errors so remove item one and remove item two so we'll start that and play yeah. alright I and we've got no item in there and it's gone item removed so by the looks of that we have removed that item so let's go add two items we'll just do a few checks add two item zeros and remove both of those um, just remove one and we'll see if yeah it runs runs over and over and over again uh, we need to have that break in there so break is after inventory is equal equal to null so it's going to run through for if inventory and then we're going to go break I think that's right put break inside the last thing just after inventory equals that one and then play and I and we've got that one there but we don't have it so that it's automatically checking to see whether we've got a spare space there so that's working um, okay that's good that's good we got through that one top of my head as I said <laughs> um, what else can we do we can do a automatic check to see if there's a um, empty slot before it to see if it if it is an empty slot before it then we're gonna make the um, we're gonna take put it in the empty slot before it so I suppose we could put this straight in update but we'll just create a new function we'll go void and we're gonna go um, check empty slot gonna give it nothing we're just gonna go copy this one because we want this for loop if so it's gonna run through the inventory and then go it's gonna go if inventory I dot item name dot item ID um, if inventory I of I minus one um, minus one sorry I'm not sure if this is gonna work minus one is equals oh wait, dot item name equals equals null then we're going to spare slot spare slot before and then we're going to go inventory i equals inventory i minus one and then we're going to go inventory i equals slots i slots i I think I think that's why I don't even know if we need slots I am not sure um so I'd be confused just trying to get something out to you guys um and that did not work so when they got item removed we didn't get debug to lock spare items is equal to null dot 
item id is equal equals equals no equals equals yeah no I think then I oh we never check we never run that oh my God. item name okay what we never did was put it in update so we're just gonna put that in update so Check empty slot, and what we're going to eventually do is only call check empty slot when we do something with the inventory. Add, example, add something to the inventory or remove something to the inventory. So now we're getting errors. That's good. Well, bad, but good. Ninety seven if inventory minus one dot item name equals equals no. Or we could just make that equals equals slots I But what we're gonna have to check is if if inventory I is if I sorry if i is greater than zero then we're going to decide like, because if it's already at one then it's already you can't do it anymore you can't go backwards well i suppose what we could do is just change this zero to one but we might change it see if that works so just clear this now play and i no, it didn't work. <sighs> Item removed. No, we'll just do this. Move this back. And change this to 1. Um, no, not again. Wow. Um, okay, so no but we'll just make this dot item name nope that worked but the m9 is somewhere um inventory i i minus one equals inventory i and then inventory i equals slots i and that should work yay that worked okay now Oop. and we're get, calling this a million and one times because we are uh, checking for an empty slot all the time so just remove that what we're going to do is just call it in this add item so if we add an item so in this final one once we do that we're going to go check inventory empty slot and we're just going to do inventory contains we um essentially don't need really any of this in we don't need it in uh, add item or inventory contains but we're just going to do it just in case just in case if something didn't work previously or something and the one we really need in is in remove item so we're going to just call a check empty slot in here and that should be fine. Now if we call that, that should only call three times or something like that. Now that moves correctly. One, two, three, three, four. Perfect. So we added it for the two items, we checked it, and then we removed the item, and then we checked it again. So we check for the add, check for the second add, check for the containing, um, remove, uh, remove the item, and then check again, which is perfect that's what we want for now we're, we're going to just snap to the most previous item most previous cell um, now one thing I want to do is check how many what happens if we just add lots of these guys and see what happens about where they go alright so that didn't work um, 
Well, it worked there. It we need to continue make it so that it um ch checks it for everyone. Once it does one, we don't want to break. We don't. We don't want to break. We're only going to break if inventory. If inventory dot count. Oh no, because that's already done for the four one. Well, we'll just do that. Yeah, run that again. I oh, and they all move back. That's perfect. Now what we're eventually going to make it do is so that you can drag them around. But that is about it for this episode. I hope I wasn't too bad in doing just those two little bits. But um, yeah, I apologize again for the time and things like that. And um, oh, I forgot to zoom in again. I wish I could change that to default. I'll just quickly zoom in here and if you need to just pause and to get take down the script. And these are the two main ones here. So yeah. Um, thanks again. Um, really happy about people helping each other out. Um, that's really great. And thanks for watching. Um, please comment, rate, subscribe. It means a lot. And see you later. Bye.